Hey guys, it's Super Easy Films here, and today I get a new video for you guys showing you guys a tutorial in Photoshop CS6 on how to do the glitch effect that I have created. So I'm going to show you from start to finish how to create the effect on a person or a character and on text. Okay, so to begin, we're going to click File, New, and that's to make a new project so I can show you what I'm going to put in here. And so if you have a character with a background, try to isolate it and remove it the character to the new project without affecting the background because that'll so the background will be affected but the person will so let me just drag spiderman there and then try to scale it into the box gonna tilt it maybe and scale it up maybe move it over let's get some more down and that's about it okay so now that i have fixed that up I will start to try to do the glitch effect. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and right click and duplicate the layer. So once you do that you can name it if you'd like, but I don't really name anything so there you go. After that you will use the marquee tool and basically make little boxes to slice them up. So I'll just start that off. Just make a little, hold it out and it doesn't have to be any shape that you want. Just try to Make it any size that you want, any any the length, I don't care. It's your choice. After that, click Selection Tool, and then on your keyboard, tap the left and right buttons on which way that you want your the sides of the body want to go. After that, you turn off the I tool, I mean I button on the second layer, and there you go. Your masterpiece has started. So after that, you can just add different pieces to the body and you can recreate the effect that I just did and I'd recommend to do random randomized uh, glitch effects on different size bodies like I went left before and I went to the right that creates the more realistic feel of a glitch like you know glitches happen at random times and they look differently so you wanna kinda of try to recreate the same way of a glitch so don't just try to create boxes like I'm doing right now Try to do it in different areas, like, oh, wait a minute, just let me add this, and try to add it, like, for small parts, like, maybe just a little piece of his arm, like, right here, and then you can click V, and then you can select the selection tool, turn it to the left, just to add a little bit more realism, see, that little effect will make it seem more real, and I can add one on his arm right here, and switch it to the right. And you can also do it to the head. So let me just try to attach it right here. There you go. So I basically recreated the glitch effect and I've added some more stuff just to show you guys what else you can do. So that's basically how you would do it on a character. So let me show you guys how to do it on text. So let me open up a new one, new project, and go ahead and click the text button. And let me just type in glitch. Let me just do all caps. And let's make that color a little bit dark, I guess. Oh, I didn't select it. Oopsies. And uh, there you go. Okay, so let me just expand this so you guys can see what I'm doing. And it's basically the same process of what we just did, but text, you know, is a little bit different. So once you got the text, go up to layer and click rasterize and click type. But make sure your glitch layer is selected. So rasterize then type. Now you're able to cut it up. So you can also duplicate it here for the safety if you lose the other file and see what you did wrong. But for text I don't usually do that for. So let me just go glitch glitch it up. Okay. For text is kind of difficult because you want to get it right without messing up. So you basically do the same effect after that. Same thing and then just start moving it. Now usually for a text I'd keep it all the, at least the text, like each edge touch the edge of the other letter just so it's connected in a way. And let me do it here. And give it more of a random feel. So it's just to the right. And then, you can move this part down to the left. And 
and last but not least, the final part. And I will also move this to the right. Okay, that's a little too far. There you go. That's basically how you create the glitch effect. And I think I went too much for too far with this one. That's why you can barely tell what it says. But uh, you can have fun with it. Do it any shape that you like, any way you like. It can turn out to make pretty cool shapes and makes it look your project look pretty neat. So that's basically how you do the glitch effect in Photoshop CS6. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.